everybody, Jim from County Corvette. I've got a 1964 convertible. Now, I know everybody hates 64 Corvettes. It's not a 63, it's not a 65, and you don't want a 64 because nobody else wants one. Well, I'm gonna change your mind because this car is a great value, and even my asking price might seem high. Again, if you're out price shopping, we're, we're not the right place for you. Um, but if you're looking for a good quality, great quality, Take a good look at this, and I'm gonna go through this car with you. First off, it's a real white, blue interior car, original numbers matching car, engine trans rear, original unhit body, but a professional body off restoration. The engine was upgraded to, it feels like a 360 horse. I believe it's got the 11 to one pistons in it. Well, I, I don't believe it, I know it, I can feel it, and I, I have uh, evidence of the rebuild. The restoration was done by a shop up in New York, and I remember the owner, um, they, they were in the NCRS uh, judging. I, I can't remember his name, but I remember it was a couple. And, you know, this was a high quality body off restoration, stripped down to bare fiberglass. I've got pictures of it with no paint on it. You can see the body, how clean it is. It was properly done. And here's a paint job that's held up for 30 years. When you do them right, they last. Now, I don't know what this, this job costs, but I, I would venture to say seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 back then it's about what we were getting and we were cheap back in the day uh cheap 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 um because i worked for free <laughs> most of the time um but we all do that starting out in business and that's that's what it is but a restoration like this now you're you're 150 plus easy and that's starting with a nice car like this one so yeah when you look at comparable values you say, well, that, that one's priced a little bit more, Jim. Well, you know, why so much? Well, because it's five times a better car than the crap that you see out there. Because nobody's putting money into a 64 because nobody thinks they're worth it. And this car's worth it. I mean, it's, 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 it's a car that could be answer as judge. It's a car that be, could be driven to South Dakota, Texas. We're, drive it. Get in and drive it. This thing will make it. Um, it was upgraded to steering and power brakes. Now it still has a single reservoir master cylinder and I'd like to see a dual on there. So maybe that's something we can talk about. Um, but it, it's, it's got the disc brakes in the front and this thing works great. It is a sweetheart of a driver. So with all that said, yeah, you know, you, you, you know, look at pricing out there, but man, this, this is so much bang for the buck and it's a turnkey car. I, I really don't. I don't think I had to do anything to it. We, we ran through it and, uh, you know, things work as they should and the car just runs so nice. So, you know, there's a million pictures. I don't know how to million. There's, there's probably 300 pictures of this thing. And, it, you know, the chassis is beautiful on it. It's, 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 it's been debugged, you know, fresh restorations from some shops. You know, stuff doesn't work. You're back and forth to the shop. This thing's been done for a long time. It's been well maintained since that time, and it's just a great driver. Seats were upgraded to leather, uh, but but it, as I said, it's a blue interior car, and you know this thing drives better, you know, than than a lot of modern cars with with the, with the power disc brakes and and the power steering. It's anybody can drive it, and it runs its ass off because it is 11. Seems like 11 to one compression, and just a just a hoot to drive, and it's a lot of bang for the buck. If this car was a, a, a 340 um, you know you'd be well over the that price so you know um, take a good look at it they are early reproduction uh, knockoff wheels the uh, the Kelsey Hayes aftermarket company it actually says Kelsey Hayes on them but they're not original original uh, Kelsey Hayes wheels um, but there are five of them in here and black convertible tops perfect it's down because we're gonna be doing some driving here soon and just just a nice driver it's got radio tires on it just a car you get in and drive can't emphasize that enough so with that said we're going to get in it and drive it all right so this car has 365 stickers on it 
Now, as you know, and I'm going to hear it, I can only imagine if I put this car and bring a trailer, how I would get lectured about what's wrong with it by the bat experts. Now, they didn't make a 365 and 64. It didn't come out until 65. But they had a 360, and it's the same bottom end as the 365. The 365 is a good running car, so I, I believe this was built to those specs. So this actually what it sounds and feels like. It's got that snappy gurgle to it. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll, you'll, you'll appreciate what I'm saying. So. Hear that? That's the snappy gurgle I talk about. It's probably another name for it. Um, some type of combustion chamber volumetric efficiency. Uh, but I call it a snappy gurgle. And it's, it's, it's just a nice sound. That's what Bill Jenkins did for GM, was all his port work. And any of his custom stuff had that type of throaty, raspy sound to it. Just a very fast throttle response. And, and he did it through porting. So the combination of the heads in the cam and higher compression on these gives these engines that that nice uh, nice throaty responsiveness so with uh, with all that it's it's just a cool car now you, you you know you got power steering and the power disc front brakes and it's so easy and so nice to drive Transmission's done right. Very well balanced. I'm sure the engine was balanced. I can feel it's balanced. The clutch assembly feels balanced. Everything's nice and balanced. And I'm gonna tell you, that's not always the case. It's in fact, it's rarely the case. Anybody can take apart a small block Chevy and put it back together. Now the question is, can they do it right? And the answer is no. A big fat resounding no. But that doesn't that doesn't stop people from tinkering. And hey, that's cool. That's how we learn. But I don't want a car that somebody learned on and didn't uh, didn't quite get it right. But as I said from the beginning of this video, this car was done right by by you know pretty talented. Uh, very, pretty talented guy and damn if I can't remember his name um, but he did nice work and uh, this this car you know reflects that um, now my hey, look at that it's running backwards the uh, clocks you know that's what you got to give them a little little tap that's got a uh, sweeping quartz movement in it and batteries disconnected for a while pretty normal temp is right on oil pressure is right on amps right on fuel is sinking fast um this is not an economy car folks so you know don't holler at me when you know when you start driving it and it's uh chomping through fuel i'm just warning you now nah, really it's 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 a good compromise better than a big block even still but if you're going to be driving it you know like i drive it you know which is hard um you're going to be putting fuel in it all right so we're going to redline her feels good that feels really good I actually didn't redline and I brought it up to about I don't know, 58 6 in that range feels good though it's a it's a good strong running car it doesn't miss a beat no hesitation smooth through the whole uh, torque curve now what I can tell you is you, you don't want to start this thing up and stop it you know at the dinner party you're throwing 
for your buddies, you have a couple drinks, go out in the garage, start the car up, man, check this thing out, listen to that throaty, raspy sound that Jim was talking about, and then you shut it off, and then, shit, the next time you get it started, you got fouled plugs. That will happen, you gotta let it warm up. It's just the nature of the car, so just be aware of it. You start it up, you let it warm up. Preferably you drive it, and preferably you drive it and, and run it good, run it good and hard. It is, this car is meant to be driven that way. So if, if, if you're not gonna drive it that way, don't buy it, you don't want it. You, you know, just, just that. And I'm not talking about red line, I'm just talking about driving it. Clear the secondaries out, drive the car, enjoy it. That's what this car is, it's what it was built to be. And that's what it needs to be used as. And if you do that, you're going to have a ball. You're going to love this car. So, oh, and another thing is, it's quiet. It doesn't make any, you know, the sun visors aren't flopping. And it's not squeaking and rattling and falling apart when I go over bumps. Man, it feels good. It's a great car, really. It, uh, and that's why I bought it. I own the car, and I would park this thing in my garage in a heartbeat. All right, so give us a shout. Send us an email, text, smoke signal, however you want to reach out. Do it, and we'll reach back. All right, thanks for watching. And I'm going to put this thing away. Have a good day.